Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I've got last minute gift ideas. So if you're thinking of getting a last minute gift idea, these are my tried and true choices, floor cleaning. You can never go wrong with floor cleaning. I've also got some spin mops I'm gonna show. But tonight, I got exciting news. We're gonna do live action. So here I got my live action camera. We're gonna put some uh, ketchup on the floor. We're gonna show you how all of these floor cleaning products work. Super excited about it. So you can take the guesswork out. I have done the research, I've done the testing. These are products that I approve of. Again, floor cleaning products tonight. We got a lot to go through. Let's get started with the Black & Decker. This is the Black & Decker uh, 16 volt stick vacuum cleaner. So the reason I like this, it does self stand, okay? This is $89, under $100 stick vacuum. This is, this is a good deal. It actually does really good on hardwood floors, on carpet. When you need to empty the dustbin, you're gonna press this button, take it over to the trash can. You do have to lift this out, and then you're gonna dump everything out. So let's demonstrate it real quick. It's got a charger, you're gonna charge it. It's got a thing on the wall you can put to hold it, but it's just super lightweight. All right, let's head on over to the action cam. I've got my dirt and debris. We're gonna do live demonstration of this. All right. We got our dirt and debris. We're going to the cam. We're going to the Black and Decker. It's just super lightweight. It's doing a good job getting everything off the floor. It's got two speeds of operation. And the best thing, I can just stand it and it's ready to go. All right, let's go back to the main camera. All right, here's, we just cleaned everything up with this. Let's take the chamber out. Again, you're gonna take it over, lift this up. This is like the filter. Then you're gonna dump everything out. Once in a while you do have to kind of clean that filter apart. Now they do sell this. This is the 20 volt. These things are almost identical. Um, the 20 volt's gonna last a little bit longer. It's got a little bit bigger battery. So the 20 volt's going for $99. So about a $10 difference. I say get the 16 volt. It does just as good a job. But let's show you that again. It's got the filter's a little bit different color. You're still gonna take it out the same way. Empty it out. Goes in here like this. I don't notice that much of a difference. Um, I can definitely tell the 20 volt does last a little bit longer and seems to have a little bit more power. But let's go to the live action camera. Let's put some dirt and debris on the floor and let's see how it does. All right, we're gonna go to the live action camera. That's the thing with my video. I wanna show you these things, how they work in, in real life. Uh, it's one thing to talk about them. It's another thing to demonstrate them for you. Let's do this 18 volt right next to the 20 volt. Both of them are super lightweight. They both have two speeds of operation. And again, they both stand there when they're done. So you've got the first Black & Decker, which is $89. And the second one, the 20 volt is $99. Cannot go wrong with these stick vacuum cleaners. They're just lightweight. They work, easy to use, easy to charge. I think they work good. These I do like for that price point. That's a great price point. Stick vacuums under $100. These are what I recommend. Now we're going to get into some more that are a little more expensive. All right. Okay, everybody, I get this question a lot. What is, what's the vacuum cleaner you use all the time? Uh, some once in a while I'll pull out the stick vacuums. It's the Hoover One Power. Now, it's got things I like about it. Uh, it's a simple vacuum cleaner. It's the Hoover One Power. And again, I get this question a lot. What, what vacuum cleaner 
do you use? And I get that a lot because I have a lot of vacuum cleaners and I put them through a lot of testing. It's the Hoover One Power. This is on sale for 178. This is the Hoover One Power Evolve. Now, it stands on its own. I love that feature. You lose some features with that though. You can't take the power unit off, put a crevice tool on and go do some crevice work. It stays as a vacuum cleaner like this. But when, whenever I leave it, I can just kick it up. It's not tippy. It's not gonna fall over. It's gonna stay right where I put it. You do have to charge these batteries externally. These are the one power lithium batteries. You do have, it comes with a charger. You gotta put them in the charger. That's not that big a deal. And putting these batteries on and off is not hard. You'd have to pinch these tabs, but if you've got arthritis or something, it's not too bad. I have seen some batteries that can be very difficult. Now, when you're ready to empty it, press this tab. You're gonna take this whole dustbin over to the trash. Then you're going to open this up, which we're gonna do down here on the action cam. 178 Hoover. This is my go-to vacuum cleaner. We're gonna spread this around, see how it does. Let's go back here and again putting this back very easy it's got controls up here ergonomically the handle just fits in your hand very well let's go back to the live action camera any questions at all on these leave them in the comments i'll look at the comments i'm looking at my screen right now <clears throat> all right we're going to turn it on <clears throat> This is medium power. I can turn the brush roller all the way off. There's the brush roller off. Let's go back on. <clears throat> I can go high. It is so lightweight and portable. And I turn it off, I kick it up, it stays right where I put it. Love that vacuum cleaner. This is the Hoover One Power 178. If you need a last minute gift, get this. It's tried and true. It's gonna work. It comes with everything you need. <clears throat> I use this on a daily basis. Constantly making messes around here. So this is exactly what I use on a daily basis. So again, I really appreciate everybody joining in today. Last minute gift ideas, floor cleaning. You can never go wrong with a, with a gift for floor. We're always constantly needing uh, to clean our floors and there's newer and better ways of cleaning our floors, which I'm gonna show you. So this cordless vacuum cleaner, I, this is my go-to. Let's go to the next. Shark. <clears throat> the Shark Stratus Corded. This is an excellent vacuum cleaner. You, you plug it in, so it's gonna go forever. It, it's not battery operated. It's got the dual fins on the front, odor neutralizing technology. Let's take this off. Got to unwind the cord. Got a little lever up here. You can take the whole cord off at once. Then you're going to put the power head on. I am losing my voice. Let's go to the live action camera Two. All right, we got dirt and debris. We got all, oh, this is a big mess. Woo. I think the shark is gonna do an amazing job. I have no doubt that this shark is gonna get everything. Look at, I'm gonna show you some cool features. We're in the live action camera right now. Folks, I show you exactly how these products work. I use them. Look at this part. If I need to go get a crevice or something, that's a step. You step on that and it comes right off. That's pretty amazing. <clears throat> Lightweight, portable. I can use it on hardwood floor or carpet. Let's go back here to the main camera. All right, so we just picked up a bunch of dirt and debris. We got the chamber here, we got it empty now. We're just gonna pinch these two tabs. You're gonna take this whole chamber over to your trash can. You're gonna press this little release button. It's gonna open up, dump everything out. Once in a while, you gotta clean that out. You're ready to go. 
never run out of juice. It's got two modes of operation. It's got a hardwood floor and carpet. Again, I love the Shark. This is on sale. $229.99. That's a pretty good deal. This is, again, last minute gift ideas. I've taken the guesswork out. This is what you should get. If you need a corded stick vacuum, this can do your whole house. You may have to empty this out a couple times, but it can do your whole house. You're never gonna have to run out of battery. Never have to worry about it. All right, let's go on to All right, we're getting on to some more. Let's go to the next one. Let's go, oh, okay. The Shark Stratus Cordless Vacuum Cleaner, $2.99. This is a good deal, it's on sale. Now this vacuum cleaner, this is probably my second go-to vacuum cleaner behind the Hoover. The main reason is I can uh, detach it, the power head, I can use a crevice tool, it's cordless. This is how it stores. Now when you need to charge it, it's gonna have a cord that plugs in right here so it has an external charger and that's how you charge it. Pinch this, you're gonna rotate that up. Now the vacuum cleaner is ready to go. Again, it's got that, that uh, soft bristle that's gonna bring the dirt and material in so it doesn't get kicked all around. We've got odor neutralizing technology. Mm. Odor neutralizing technology, so if you got pet hair and pet hair stuff around, this helps with the smell. It's just like a smelly fragrance. It lets the air go through it and it comes out the exhaust as a smelly fragrance. It actually works pretty good and it smells good. So this is battery operated, but the way to get the most out of this vacuum cleaner is with auto sense. It's got low auto sense and high with it, with it in high, the battery's not going to last as long in auto sense. It's going to sense, it's got a sensor in here. If the dirt, if the dirt that it's sucking up or the air is really dirty, it's going to ramp up the suction and the broom the brush roller speed. That's gonna use more battery, Then, but it's gonna get the floor clean. As the floor gets clean, it's gonna ramp the suction down so you don't have to use as much battery. Let's put it to the test. Let's go to the live, let's go to the action camera. We've got an action camera, we've got a big mess. We got a big mess, oh my goodness. I think it's gonna handle it, I think it's got it. We're gonna put it in auto sense. All right, here we go. Very lightweight, maneuverable. Did you see it ramp up that suction? Got a big popcorn kernel. It didn't kick the stuff around. This thing is so lightweight. Now it, it ramped the suction down because it's not as dirty. And it does just as good on hardwood floor, or on, on carpet as it does hardwood floors. I'm gonna turn it off. Let's, let's go back up here and talk about it now. Now, there's, there's, a, there's several reasons to like this vacuum cleaner. Um, let me show you if, you, if you got a lot of stairs, you're gonna disconnect this because you gotta go over to the trash can. Easy, to, you got this release button. You're gonna push it that way. And this trap door is gonna come out. Everything's gonna come out, see? Once in a while, we do have to open it up. We've got a filter there. We've got a HEPA filter right here. Those don't need clean that very often, but let me show you, you got stairs. This is the perfect vacuum cleaner for stairs. Take this off. We can hook this right up to this. Now you've got a power unit that I can clean stairs with. How nice is that? I'm not lugging around something awkward. Super easy. Here's another thing. It does come with a crevice tool. I misplaced it, it's over there. You can put this on, you can put the crevice tool on. Now I got like an extension. This vacuum cleaner is what the, is what the Hoover misses. So with the Hoover, you can't take the power unit off, do all of these fancy things. But this one's a little awkward. I, I don't mind, I'm used to it. It took a little getting used to kicking it over center so it's it's not you can't stand it up it, it will tip over and that's what this button's for it's called the flex that's how you're going to store it and you got to remember you can't just lift it up you got to press this button again so that takes some getting used to 
but it's very versatile. I love this vacuum cleaner. These are my two favorite vacuum cleaners. I get that asked a lot. I have a lot of vacuum cleaners. What's your favorite vacuum cleaner? Well, I've shown you my two favorites. This one just kind of sits in the corner. It's so easy to grab and clean up some messes. But the Shark, so versatile. So let's put it over here. Let's take the Hoover out. Let's get into some spin mops. These have been hugely unpopular. I am losing my voice. I've only done two live streams today. This is the second one. And I'm already losing my voice. That just means I gotta do more. Okay, the spin mops. This is no joke. Okay, so if there's one gift, if, if you just need to get a gift under $60, $50, just get a spin mop. The person getting it may say, I don't know why I need it, I don't need it. But guess what, they're gonna eventually use it, then they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, it's a game changer, I love it. I had this one, this is the, the Vow Week. It is on sale right now for $43.98. It's the one to get of all three. If you're needing one to get, get this one, and I'm gonna show you why. I've had this for over a year, it's lasted me just fine. I can adjust the head. Okay, sometimes you need to get at a 90 degree angle so that you can put a little more pressure. It's got two speeds of operation, slow and fast, or if you need to go to straight, I can change out these heads. But for cleaning showers, I just cleaned my shower last week and this is what I used. I'm having back problems. I don't like bending over. This has helped me from when I clean my shower that I'm not bending over. It does extend. It's beefy, you know, it's not heavy, but it feels strong. And that's what I like about it. Let's get on over here to the Libigo. Now this one's been very popular. This is the Libigo. Again, this one is on sale for $59.39. It's very easy. It's gonna come, you have to put it together, just like this one. Once they're together, you don't take them apart. There's an electrical connection here. So you always have to leave them together. You're gonna charge it with a proprietary charger right there, but this just has one speed and it's at a fixed angle all the time. And it does extend to, but again, I like the one that, that um, goes at a 90 degree angle. These things just pop on and off. So let's turn it on. One speed, very powerful. You know, you're gonna be using it up here. You're gonna be cleaning your shower. I don't have, let's go to the live action camera. I don't have to bend over. I can do all my cleaning. When I say this is the gift to get, I, I mean it because again, people sometimes getting them to change the way they do something can be hard. Like I've always used a mop and bucket. I've always used something, but eventually they're going to use it. These things are really starting to catch on. Now this one has a purpose. Let's go to, this is the YK, YKY, $59. It's a little different. Um, it's got a wand that extends. It's the lightest weight of the three. It also has the highest reach, but you disconnect this. The battery on these is in the, is in the arm. This, the battery is in here. You charge it with USB. Now that can be a game changer because you can lose those proprietary um, charging cables, but you typically will have a USB-C cable around. So this is not as heavy duty as those two. It does talk to you. It has three, has three speeds of operation, low, medium, but I can use it as a handheld, you know? So there may be instances where you don't want the big pole. That's where this one would come into play. And you can put the pole on and you got a pole on it. <coughs> All right, let's go to the Swiffer, Swiffer Power Mop. <clears throat> so we have differences here. We have a power mop. I'm going to leave these up front. It, again, if you're needing a gift, just get the spin mop. Or these. These are just as nice. This is $29.94, the power mop. And we've got the wet jet. You may be saying, what's the difference between these two? Well, first off, the power mop is bigger. It's got a bigger cleaning surface. But both of them, there's no vacuum on them or nothing. Both of them, when, there's a trigger up here. When you press the trigger, 
They have these solution bottles, and solution's gonna come out, you're gonna use the pad, it's gonna mop everything up. Let's go try it out. That's the reason we're doing this. We wanna see things, how they actually work. <coughs> we're in the live action camera. We've got a mess on aisle nine. Let's do the Swiffer wet jet. It sprays out pretty good. And you're simply gonna sweep. All right. Now I picked up the mess. Now I can continue to mop the rest of the floor or I can change out that pad. I can just step on it. Whoops. Well, that didn't go as planned. I should be able to just step on it and throw that pad away. Let's see how the other one does. The mop, the, the power mop. Again, nice big spray pattern. Got a nice big mop head. All right. And when I'm all done, I can throw this pad away. All right, and if it, I didn't have a big mess, I could just mop my entire floor with this. The solution smells really good. That's the Swiffer Power Mop and the Swiffer Wet Jet. Cannot go, these come as full kits too. So let's talk about them. When you get the, when you get the Power Mop, it comes as a kit. You get the solution, you get extra pads, you put the handle together, you gotta put batteries in it. It takes two AA batteries right here. Uh, these make excellent gifts too. And we had the Swiffer Wet Jet for $28.24. Let's go on. This is a great stocking stuffer. This is the Rubbermaid $17. $17.38. The Reveal. So it takes two AA batteries. It's got grippy. Um, it is somewhat waterproof. You can't like dunk it in water. But if you need to do some some detailing, this is going to work great. Now the bristles, they just move back and forth. They don't go in a circle. But it's pretty powerful. We're doing little intricate work. Great little stocking stuffer. It's made by Rubbermaid. It's grippy. I like it. $17.38. Amazon Basics. So Amazon Basics has a uh, cordless vacuum cleaner. It doesn't look like one. This is just a little mounting cup to hold it, but here we have, let's put a little, let's put some stuff on the floor or on the table here. All right, again, you got any questions about any of these products, leave them in the comments. Um, I'm looking at the comments. You can send me a message about any of these products. I'll take a look. Turn it on. Turn it off. Okay. Two things I like about this. USB-C. I love when things charge with USB-C. I typically have a USB-C cable. I can find it. It's not a proprietary charging thing. I can usually find a USB-C cable to charge it. All right. So it's got all the dirt and debris in here. You're just going to turn that a little bit. I like that the filter, it doesn't go in a certain way. Uh, it's just a circle. So take it off, empty it out, push it back on. You gotta line this up, just turn it till it clicks, but it doesn't even look like a vacuum cleaner. And it has a built-in light, a little flashlight. Pretty, pretty neat. That's pretty cool. That is $59.99. That's a great stocking stuffer. You know, take it out of the bag, take it out of the box, put it in the stocking. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. It doesn't even look like a vacuum cleaner. All right. Let's go on the dream, oh, the dream tech, $4.99. Okay, this one's a game changer. If you're wanting to get somebody, this is the, it's not the most expensive, but it is one of the nicest ones. I have other ones here. I have the Tenneco, I have the Shark. These are a little bit cheaper, but this one, if you're looking to upgrade your floor cleaner, this is the, the dream tech H12 Pro, $4.99. Now, it's got all the upgrade features. It's got a larger uh, dirty water tank. 
It's got the roller, it does edge to edge cleaning. It doesn't go all the way to the edge, but it does pretty close. We've got a big clean water tank. It's got voice prompts. It doesn't connect to your smartphone or anything. It doesn't need Wi-Fi. You don't need that for these. This one just works. It's got a nice display up here. It's not too fancy. There's not too much. It's got a little bit of electronics, but not so much you're like wondering what it's doing. But where this, we're gonna do a cleaning, but there's, this thing has the, the I'm gonna show you the base unit that charges it and cleans it. It has a built-in dryer and heater to dry this, which I'm gonna show you. But first, let's go to the live action camera. We've got to go down. We've got a mess, and even the, the Swiffers didn't pick up the mess from the last time. Let's go down to the live action camera. All right, the Dream Tech. I'm going to turn it on. It's going to put the solution down and suction automatically. And now I can just continue to mop the rest of the floor. I don't have to worry about anything. Just mop the rest of the floor. It's automatically putting the solution down and the water. Rolls really easy. Gets under the counter really well. Edge to edge cleaning. When you're all done, you turn it off. All right, here is the game changer. You can see this self-cleaning base, okay? It's got the charging points. There's a built-in uh, fan and a, and a heating element, and there's these, these holes right here. When it's done with the cleaning cycle of shooting the water, and sucking the water off of the roller, it's gonna shoot, it's gonna have hot wa hot air going on. So let's put it on. Charging started. Let's do the self-cleaning cycle. Preparing ultra mode. Please wait for 30 seconds. So it's gonna do the self-cleaning mode. Let's go back again. This is the dream. Dream Tech H12 Pro. If you're looking to upgrade, I highly recommend this one. I just got this a couple weeks ago. It's probably gonna be my new floor cleaner. I absolutely love it. Um, it's just so now it's going into the self-cleaning cycle. Let's go back to the live action camera. So it's gonna shoot some solution on the roller and then the suction's gonna kick on and it's gonna clean that roller. Comes with a brush, extra filter, and an extra roller. So see there it kicked on the suction, cleaning the roller. <clears throat> It's going to do that two times. Another thing is, not many of them turn the roller the opposite direction. A lot of them turn it the same way the entire time. This one will reverse the direction to help clean that inside uh, wiper area. That's a very nice, I have not seen many that turn it one way and then turn it another way. There's the second suction, cleaning the head. Okay, here it comes, get ready. There, it turned the roller one way and now the other. But here comes the best part. This is the dream, dream tech. When you're looking to upgrade, if you just need to get a gift that you know they're going to love, this is the one to get. $4.99. Self-cleaning complete. Please clean the used water tank. All right. The self-cleaning is done. Drying the brush roller. But now it's going to dry the brush roller. That's going to spin for about 20 minutes at a very low rate. And there's a fan and a heater that kicks on and it's going to dry that. Now don't take this off. I'm doing this for a demonstration but you'll start to feel that getting uh, drier as it's blowing that hot air on it. Now it's not super hot air, but it is enough to kind of get it dry. And again, take this over the sink, empty it out. The Dream Tech 499. I really do love it. Okay, so Tinico. let's go back to this. The Tinico. 
This is kind of a middle of the road Tenneco. This is the Floor One S3, 399. When you're looking to upgrade, I'm gonna show you the, the iFloor 2 here in a second. If you're looking to get into uh, Tenneco's, these floor cleaners, this is a great one to start. When you wanna upgrade, you're gonna to upgrade to this one first. When you really wanna upgrade, you're gonna get that one. This one's got a little bit bigger water tank, or dirty water tank, clean water tank, nice display up here. Again, it's got the brush roll down here. Let's go see how it does on a cleanup. Let's go to the live action camera. Again, thanks everybody for watching tonight. Got a mess. We're gonna turn it on. Again, it's in auto mode. I'm gonna put it in max mode. Now I can mop the rest of the floor with it. Turn it off. Let's go. Now this this is the this is the iFloor 2. So if you're looking, if you're not sure if somebody is going to like these Tenecos, these floor mops, you know, you've got the Shark uh, Hydrovac, which is on sale right now. The Tenneco, this one's on sale. This is on sale for $2.29. This is a great one to get. Um, it's got a smaller, dirty water tank. It's got a smaller, clean water tank. But if you, again, if you're not sure they're going to like it, this is a great model to get because it cleans just as good as the iFloor 3. You do have to pull the trigger to get the solution to go out. So let's see how it does on a mess. Let's go to the live action camera. And again, that, that one, the Dream Tech is still drying. Let's compare these two side by side. Again, I can mop my entire floor with them. Clean up a big mess. Now I can just mop. They both did a good job. All right, let's talk about them. Both of these are gonna have base units that you're gonna put them on. It's like a rubber mat, like a, a, a mat like that one has. That's where you're gonna do the self-cleaning function. It's gonna squirt some solution on the roller, suck it up, and then you're gonna empty this out. This one, you do charge it with an external charger. You plug in right here. This one, you're gonna plug it in right here with an external charger. Again, both of these have self-cleaning features that, that stop automatically. You have to press a button. So with this one, you're gonna put it on the charger Put it on the base unit, hold the power button for about four seconds. It's gonna start the self-cleaning cycle. This one has a self-cleaning button on the top. When you've got it in the base unit, if you've got it charging, it's, you press that, it's gonna do a self-cleaning cycle. It'll stop automatically. iFloor 2 complete. Let's go to the Shark Hydrovac. Okay, this is a great one to get. It's on sale. The Shark's at a great price. Shark Hydrovac 159, right here, cordless. Same, same principle. Clean water tank up here. You're gonna put your water and your solution. Dirty water tank right here. It's got a filter. Once in a while, you gotta clean the filter. Down here, we open this up. This is the roller. It has a self-cleaning feature also. It has a base unit that charges it. I like that, that you don't have to with this one when you put it on its base unit, it charges it and you can do the self-cleaning. With those Tenecos, those two Tenecos at least, there's other Tenecos that will charge it, but those you have to plug in the little charger. This one also has a self-cleaning button. You're going to press the power button when you have it on the charging station. So let's go to the live action camera and see how this one does. We're going to see how it cleans up. We got another big mess, aisle three.
Again, on, there's no trigger. It gets ants too. Now I can mop the rest of my floor. Rolls very easy, very lightweight. it off we're ready to go so let's we can see the shark hydrovac 159 it's also an awesome one this is a really good deal this is the now the next one is the corded one so we have two versions of this we've got the cordless which i just showed you now we got the corded version same thing takes a cord no battery no charging unit it does have a base unit you put it on and you can do the self-cleaning cycle again put the, the water solution tank let's see how it cleans we got to plug this one in, so we're never going to run out of battery. Again, we've got to clean up on aisle nine. We're going to go to the live action camera. This is how I test my products. We take them upstairs, we use them for a while. All right, both of them are done. Again, that's the Shark Hydrovac corded, one fifty nine ninety nine. That's a that's a really good price. I like that price. Again, any questions on any of these? Leave them in the comments. I'm checking them. Ah. Uh. All right. We're gonna get on to some spot cleaners the kenmore pretty impressed with this kenmore this is a kenmore spot cleaner now it's got a dirty water tank right here no this is the clean water tank you're going to take it over the sink fill it up put your water in solution nice handle goes in real easy over here we got the we're going to plug it in we got the dirty water tank lift up nice and big I am losing my voice. Nice thing about this one, the big dirty water tank, lift it up, nice hinge. Take this over the sink to empty it out, but I can get in there and clean that out. If it starts to smell, get yucky, I can get that clean. Put it in, easy to operate, single button. It's got a nice long hose. It's not super heavy. When you, pr spray, uh, spray the, when you press the trigger, you're gonna get solution and you'll have suction easy to take the attachments on and off and I can clean the inside of the attachments. The Kenmore Spot Cleaner. This is on sale for $112.49. Tried and true. I've tested this. I've compared this to several Bissell's, several Hoover's. It's a little bit bigger than the Bissell Little Green. Um, this has a place. It's lightweight, portable. This one's a little bit bigger. So if you're looking to clean up a little bit bigger messes, the Kenmore is a great one to get. 112. Now to go along with that, Kenmore also has, this was just released. I just did the video on it this week. This is a carpet shampoo machine. I love it. So many things I like about it. Uh, dirty water tank, clean water tank. When we talk about carpet cleaners, functionality, does it feel good in your hand? Is it something you can use all day? Does it clean the carpet well? These are all things I take into consideration. I think it meets a lot of these. This one is on sale for $190.34. If you're gonna to wanna to clean the carpet in your whole house, this is what you're gonna get. It has a bag here that contains a hose 
that you can connect right here. If you need to clean some upholstery, you use the machine suction and solution. You connect a solution. I can go clean the couch or something with this machine. It's a standard hose that has the standard attachments on it that connect real easy. Now, I also like to be able to take, and again, I like that this, this comes with this bag. It's, it's got the perfor, it's got holes in it, so it's gonna dry. And it's got a hook. I'm never gonna misplace it. I'm always gonna hook it on the, on the shampoo or put this in the closet. That way I always have everything I need. It comes apart. Carpet cleaners have to come apart in my opinion because you wanna get them clean. These things get dirty. When you're cleaning carpet, your carpet's usually super dirty. The, that means the machine's gonna get super dirty. So let me show you down here. Lift this up. This cover comes all the way off. Take it to the sink. Get it all nice and clean. We can cut the hair off if hair gets wrapped around the rollers. We can cut that off. It's got double rollers that do a good job cleaning. But coming apart easily, being able to clean is very important to me. Same with the dirty water tank. We got two latches, lift the latches, lift this handle. This is the dirty water tank. Tired of listening, that thing's gonna dry for the next 20 minutes. So the dirty water tank, again, the Kenmore on sale, 190.34. I can take this over to the sink, lift this little latch. I can get this nice and dry or clean. These things get extremely dirty. I can get a brush in there. I can get this clean, close it, put it back, put the latches, you're ready to go. Now the clean water tank, press the button. It stays down, lift this handle straight up. There's your clean water tank solution. Take it over the sink, open this up, nice big opening, put your water solution, you're ready to go. When you're ready, put it down, and then voila, you're ready to go. Foot pedals. Carpet cleaners, in my opinion, all should have foot pedals. One is to release the handle, and one is to start it, start and stop with the foot, uh, on off switch. Ergonomically, this works. I love when the unit tilts with the handle. In my, in my opinion, it just helps with maneuverability and how it feels. There's some that stay upright. There's some that are too far heavy. There's some that are too heavy. In my opinion, this one is just the right amount. It's not super heavy. It's not super lightweight. The Kenmore Carpet Cleaner. All right, the Bissell Little Green. Here we go, Bissell Little Green. This thing's very popular. They sell a lot of these. It is on sale for $122. You know, for that price, I might get the Kenmore. But the Bissell, here's the Bissell. If you need something that's lightweight, but I do have another Bissell back here, the cordless one, that's super lightweight. This one you plug in, it is, I love the functionality in the form of this. The, ho the cord stores really nice, the hose, take it off. There's a place for everything, easy to carry. There's a power switch. It's got the hose cleaning tool on it. It's got a nice lightweight hose. The uh, dirty water tank, lift this up. Take, this is gonna be filled up with dirty water. Take it over the sink, empty that out. Now you cannot get inside this tank and clean it. There's like no opening. You can take this little black rubber seal off, but you can't get inside the tank. So Here's the clean water tank on the other side, lift it up. Take the cap off, put your water solution, you're ready to go. Functionality, just lightweight, portable. It actually does a good job cleaning. Bissell Little Green Hydro Steam. Okay, this one was just released this year too. This has been a game changer. This is a steam little green machine. Now, they've just improved so many different things. It's a little bit heavier, it's a little bit bigger, but I think the trade-off is worth it. Um, here, back here, you've got your clean water tank. You're gonna put water and solution. You can put just water in here if you want because you have the option of just doing steam. You can do steam and uh, solution. When you, when you want to do steam and solution, it uses the same tank. So if you put solution in here and water, you're going to get some solution in that steam, which I've not found a problem with that. Here's the dirty water tank. Again, I can lift this up a little bit more. I can take the lid off, empty it all out, but I can take this to the sink and clean it. I can get in there with a brush, scrub this. These things get extremely dirty with use. Being able to clean them is super important to me. Now up here, Again, it's got a nice long hose, cord. 
we've got a four position switch and a little light. The first position's off. We got steam and solution, steam only, solution only. Now the way they can do that is this head here. Let's take this off right here. You got to look close, but there's two ports. One port is for steam. One port is for solution. So when I got this on steam and solution, there's one trigger. When I pull this one trigger, it opens both these ports. So if whatever I have selected, that's what I'll get. I'll get steam and solution coming, being directed out. And they've got this designed very well. It's going to be directed out right in this little area here. Now, what's nice about this is the steam, it actually steams. Um, it just makes, you can see the steam, you can feel the steam. It's directed right at the carpet, right at the stain. You know, does it clean better than this? I think it's a little bit quicker, but I like the steam that it sanitizes a little bit better. This one will get the job done. It takes a little bit more work with this one. This one is a little bit quicker. I don't have to use steam. I can just use steam only. If I want to go clean up my sink area, I can put this little crevice tool on. I can just have steam come out. If I want to clean around the sink and just steam the sink, get that all nice and sanitized, I can do that. Onboard storage for this. I can take this apart. This gets dirty. That's the suction area. Again, functionality all nice. Portability too. Again, they thought of this. I can, you know, ergonomically, it just works. It's nice and condensed. It's a little on the heavy side, um, but I do think the trade-off is worth it. That's the Bissell. It's on sale for $199. That's a great price for the Bissell. Any questions you've got, leave them in the comments. I'm checking the comments. I can see them right here. So let's go on. Okay. So if you're needing something a little more industrial, you're like, I'm got to clean cars. Say like you got four cars, say you, you clean cars for a living. You're going to want to get the Bissell Little Green Pro. Okay. This is when you're needing just a little bit bigger dirty water tank. When you're needing just a little bit more bigger solution tank. When you're needing just a little bit longer hose, this is the one to get. You know, it acts a lot like the other cleaning machines. I do think this one has a little bit more suction, but it's got a lot more functionality. Very simple to operate. You're going to press the button, single button, undo the cord, um, plug it in, press the button, you're ready to go. It does have this cap. There are certain solutions you can use to push your solution in there. There's like a little valve there. Most of the times you're just going to take this off, put the water in, dump your solution in and put the cap back on. Again. These attachments fit this, so these are the same attachments. Um, just when you're needing something a little bit bigger, the trade-off is this is going to be a little bit heavier, especially when you get the full tank of solution. That's the Bissell Little Green Pro 164.79. So let's go right to the next spectrum. Let's go to the lightest. Here is the Bissell Little Green Cordless. Now, it has a wall charge. You're going to plug it in the wall, and you're going to plug that in right here. Um, but this thing is super lightweight. It actually does a really good job cleaning. It's cordless. It's got a built-in battery. You can take it anywhere you want. I turn it on. I got a battery. I got a battery status indicator right here. There's a power switch. I've got a um, minimum and a maximum. The cord is super lightweight. When I press the trigger, um, solution is going to come out under pressure and I've got pretty good suction. Now it's cordless. Is it going to be as strong as one you plug in? Yeah, probably not. I've got the hose clean tool. It attaches to the hose. Here's the clean water. You're going to put your water and your solution. It's got two lines. I really like when they have two lines, one for water and one for solution. Here's the dirty water tank. Yeah, tilt it. One you lift straight up, one you tilt. I can take this over to the sink. I can take this out. That's how you're going to empty it out but I can, I can clean this. I can, I can get a brush down in there, get it all nice and clean. This is so lightweight and portable. This is the Bissell. It's 32%. That's, that's a pretty good price. $149.99. You know, I'm probably going to get this one. This, it just works really well. I like the lightweight and portability of it. If I'm going to have to upgrade, I'm probably going to upgrade to this or the Hydro Steam. But these Bissell products are all really good. They all have a purpose. They're just a little bit different. The lightest weight of the bunch, probably the most portable. 
Again, need a gift. These are the ones to get. I've done the homework. I've re you know, I've used these. I've compared them. I've tested them. Uh, do I get pressure gauges out? No, I don't get a pressure gauge out and see exactly what the PSI or the suction of it is. But I really do test them in real world scenarios. We'll clean my car with them. We'll clean some. Uh, the dog made a mess. We'll go clean the mess up. So these are just real world examples of how I use them. Same with all of these. Um, Floor cleaners, again, the Dream Tech. If you're needing something, if you're needing a stocking stuffer, the Amazon Basics, you know, take it out of the package, put it in the stocking. They're going to be like, what is this? And you'll be like, it's a vacuum cleaner. Super nice. USB C charging. Again, take this out of the package, put it in the stocking. What is this? Is this a toothbrush? No. This is for cleaning. Cleaning up around the sink. Kind of some delicate, intricate areas. Love it. That's the Rubbermaid reveal. And again, it, I got to go back to the Vow Week. So this one, again, last minute gift ideas. This is the Vow Week. These things just pop on and off. They stay on when you're cleaning. But this is the Vow Week. Um, I love that it turns into a 90 degree angle. I used this to clean my shower just a week ago. I love it. I can really get on there with some pressure. If I need to do a far, reach up really far, I can do like that. But I'm not bending over. That is so nice. I've got lower back problems, and if I can keep do anything from bending over, that's going to help. Two speeds. Yeah, pretty powerful too. Again, this this is the one to get. The Vow Week. The the the, the Bigo. This one's okay too, 59. Um, it's just a fixed position, you know, one speed, you got a charging cable, you're gonna charge it, but these take the two same charging cables and they take the same, these heads are interchangeable, so. Now, again, not sure what to get somebody. These are gonna be, it. again, at first they may be like, why did you get me this? It may sit there for a while. But boy, once they eventually use it, I think they're gonna love it. It's just getting them to use it. It's different. So I really appreciate everybody. Um, these are all gifts that I, the Black & Decker, can't go wrong with either one of those. I showed you what vacuum cleaners I use every day. And I've got, I've got probably 50 vacuum cleaners that I could choose from. And I showed you the ones that I use every day. Those would make great gifts. So I'm gonna end the live stream. Again, very, very thankful to everybody. Thanks for joining tonight. We had a lot of fun. We did the live action camera. We cleaned up some big messes. Um, yep, I really do appreciate it. So I'm gonna end the live stream and thank you everybody.